Hey guys, what's going on? I know I've been talking about this Jack Queen King video, and um, I did a few different ones, a bunch of recordings, some of them just messed up, but here we go. Alright, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Jack Queen King 3 hand cannon. This hand cannon can be obtained by Don the Sundial, as long as you have the original obelisk for it, and I believe that is a Nessus obelisk. Um... As long as you have that paired up and you go do the sundial, you have a chance to get this gun. Now, um, Jack Queen King is a 150 RPM hand cannon. We do have the Waken Vigil, but Jack Queen King kind of gives us a bit more than just the lightweight frame and other stuff like that. Because Bungie has now added a bit more uh, different perks to it. Uh, the original one that we had in the Osiris, uh, you know, DLC was, you know, it was, it was uh, curated. All right, so we're gonna go through the what I what I envision, what I think is gonna be good on the gun, and you know, we kind of go through there. So here we are, Jack Wing King, is a lightweight frame, uh, hand cannon, meaning you get to move faster with this weapon equipped. It has superb handling. Uh, the base. Reload on the gun is good that I'm not worried about it. 63 I think is fair. And if you feel like the reload's not fast enough, um you can even use, you know, a hands hand cannon loader. I feel like it's good enough that you don't need it. And right here's my like one of my very first selections would be to go for max range, which is what sure shot basically gives me here. Um then the next thing I want is usually armor piercing or high caliber. But if you're one of those people that really wants stability on your gun, then you're going to go with ricochet because ricochet also gives you range and stability. But if you're if we're talking about a gun that you want to use maybe with an artifact mod in the future, such as NC Barrier, then maybe you want to go for the high cal or you want to go for the armor piercing. But here's the thing that you can see here is that I mean, Pearson and High Cal give me the plus five range, but Ricochet not only gives me plus five range, but also gives me plus nine stability. So not only do you get to ricochet your bullets around things, but you also get better stability. Uh, and that will rely on if you're using a controller more than likely, or if you're in console. Now, the next section, I personally feel like Demolitionist is number one in my, in my eye. All right. Demolitionist. Just just the ability to get your grenade back from three kills. And then depending on your build, if you if you if you build your your character around getting grenade energy back, or if you're using something like controverse holds, that is going to work out really well for you. Um the very last slot, I like using damage uh perks basically, either rampage or swashbuckler one of the neat things though that this gun gives you is versatility you can also go for dragonfly which is really good for ad clearing right i'm not saying end game but if you're if you're messing around then you're you know you want to go do your law sectors you want to do your patrol uh just just like a fun gun to use i would say go with dragonfly and here's the thing about that too demolitionist with stack up faster if you're killing things and they're exploding that going with demolitionist you're probably gonna get your grenade back a lot faster another cool thing about demolitionist is that when you throw your grenade your gun is reloaded right so i know i i, sp I said that the reload on this gun is really good but once again once you throw your grenade the gun also gets reloaded so you have multiple ways to have the gun reloaded I want to go for high impact reserves because I feel like 15% extra damage the whole time isn't that crazy, especially when it's on the bottom half, meaning you have to shoot seven shots first for it to be a thing. In this second, in, in the second trait, either substance would be my next thing. Substance is swashbuckler, substance and rampage, because as you're killing, as, as you're keeping the damage on, your gun is automatically reloading. So I have a few different roles here that I want to show you. Ambitious Assassin might be something that you want to use, but I feel like the hand cannon holding 13 is a lot for it. I don't think you need more. If I'm on PC, I'm going to use the range masterwork, uh, even for PVE. 
and PvP, of course, I want the range master work and maybe handling next. But range master work is what I would be going for on this gun. And I'm just gonna go through some gameplay here, you know, just 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 to get you guys going. So here we are. Uh, the first one that I'm going to use is going to be the Substance Washbuckler one. I've been liking this a lot. I did get the Sure Shot with the Ricochet and the Range Masterwork. So the base stats on the gun is pretty nice. My magazine's at 14 because I put a backup mag on it. I mean, there's no, there's nothing this season for me to really put on this gun. So here we are. I'm going to be going through this law sector with this gun just to show you. Also, remember, I don't have on uh, the hand cannon reloader, right? But I can also show you the difference between the two. I feel like the reload on this gun is pretty good anyway. But let me just, I'm going to take this off for now. And then I can show you exactly what I mean by that. All right, so here we go. I think the feel of the gun is really neat. As you can see here, I still have the 14 rounds. As long as I'm killing... I never have to reload my gun, which is pretty nice. Um, it's a nice ad clear machine. And what I mean by this is I can get my mag all the way down to 7, 6. And if I kill, you can see that my mag is going back up. I never have to reload with the gun at all. And not only that, I still have Swashbuckler active, and I'm back up to 14 already. So, when it comes to this role, it's pretty neat. Depending if the game wants to drop you ammo, I'm pretty sure primary ammo will drop a lot. The only thing that I have against this is finding primary ammo. Besides that, I believe it is an excellent, excellent roll, and uh, boom, found ammo. Um, it is a very excellent roll. It is something that you can use, especially if you just going through activities, trying to clean up on my, on on ads. Now, the next roll that I have here is the demolition swashbuckler one. I didn't get a, uh, you know. I didn't get ricochet. I didn't get high cal armor piercing. I will be going back for a different gun. As you can see, I put back a mag on, so a panda doesn't really help me. But I love Demolitionist because the ability to get my grenade back as fast as I like is, is something that's pretty neat. So I'm going to run back out of here, and we're going to come back in. Also, if you notice, my character is charged with light. I like using the, the take and charge mod a lot. And what that is, is with me picking up an orb, I get charged with light. And uh, my combo with charge with light is high energy fire. High energy fire lets me do 20% more damage uh, with weapons, which is pretty neat. Let me use one of these and see if primary ammo drops here. No. Hmm. I don't see any primary ammo, but we're not worried about it. All right. So I'm going to shoot a few of these guys here. And if I throw my grenade, you can see that my gun is fully reloaded. So I don't really need to. And if I keep killing things, I don't really ever have to reload my gun. All right. I kill things. I throw the grenade. One. By the time that my gun needs a reload, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get my grenade back. Right? So I throw my grenade, my gun is reloaded. So this is actually a really nice combo to have on this gun. Now imagine you have something like, you know, Dragonfly and you have Demolitionist. Um, I will be farming the sun now for this roll. I think it is a very nice roll to have. And just to show you here, my, uh, my discipline is only at 48. There's nothing too crazy, yet I get my grenade back a lot, right? And like I said, the base reload on this gun is is pretty fine. If you really need to, like, see the gun, like, reload really quick, sure, you go for a hand cannon loader. But I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's needed at all. 
And like I said, there's so many ways to help this gun reload that you don't need much else. I love this gun. It is arc. It is lightweight. It has a nice uh, pool of weapons that you can use. And, you know, when you guys get the chance, make sure you go and get one because this activity will be going away at the end of the season. And I would love to see a lot of you guys have some of these weapons, man. It is a great weapon. All right. Patron of Law Claws is definitely still my favorite from the season. But I love using this gun. And you guys can see why. Once again, thank you for watching my content. I appreciate everyone coming in with the kind words. I'll see you guys on the next video.